Hey peeps, this is Stephanie from Stephanie Sue's. I pray everyone is doing well. Lord, we thank you for your grace and we thank you for your mercy. Lord, we thank you for your love and kindness. We thank you for watching over us all week long, God. And after protecting us, God, nightly, you woke us up, woke us up again this morning, Lord, in our right minds with the activity of our limbs, Lord. We ask that you just bless everyone that is watching on today. Bless us through this holiday weekend as we celebrate um you dying on the cross for us lord we will forever give you the glory the honor and the praise amen 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 i turn this on because i am uh collaging my uh for the bookmarks for the bookmarks for the craft fair i'm so oh i keep saying that i am behind so these are the bookmarks that I make with uh, these things that I sell at the craft fair. Um, so I'm going to, that's what I'm doing right now. I was also working, been working on, I know you haven't seen me. I'm sorry I didn't post on Monday or Friday. But I finished up this journal. I still have to do a flip through of it. But the my spine started coming apart. So I have to go back and repair that. Because I do use envelopes. I use envelopes. This is the first time I made this little spine in the envelope. So I need to secure it better. So I'm going to have to work on that. And I got to... Uh, and these are my custom orders. I got to fill this in. So I've got the different papers in it. So it's a two signature. So one side is um, going to be uh, for her life's journey is what she said. So I'll give her some journal prompts and stuff on this side. And then this one is a prayer journal part. And... um. So I will put scriptures and things on this side. So I got to finish those up. But I'm waiting on, she's also, a nurse. so what she wanted for hers, well, she didn't want, but she's a nurse. She just graduated LPN school. And um, she wanted some affirmations and different things also. So I um, ordered some nurse charms to hang. And um, this is the prayer journal part. What's the other part? Oh, and I printed out some like nurse paraphernalia and stuff like that. So she didn't really have have um, specific needs, but I know her. So that's why I was able to do that. So here, okay. So here's this side. Now I got to do this other side. So the thing about doing the book marks I have to do both sides in advance excuse my fingernail polish I haven't had time to polish them again um I'm gonna make another one with more so things because they men also buy the bookmarks so I've been having this that I got at um Walmart for a long time and it's got like just just more so the colors are like more, what do you call it? I don't know what to call it, but you know what I mean. So let's get started on this. We try to go quickly and not think too much because I'm just, this really is just the base, even though it looks like it's got a lot on there. It's just the base. So, yes, these are um, Bible pages from an old Bible I got at a thrift store. Or a book sale. I'm gonna. I'm using matte medium. Cause it makes it go on quicker than just using glue. You know. I'm just gonna put this right here. I was trying to do the corners first, but we'll go ahead. We'll do the corners. And I'm using um a. I pulled out some paper pads that I haven't been using. I don't know why I buy them. It's just, it's just because I think paper is pretty. 
but I haven't been using them. I still am work not I haven't picked up my garden journal in a while. It's been cold. So I had to put that on the back burner. That is a custom order, but I'm I plan on finishing it and starting on my things for the craft fair at the same time. I just haven't had time. I mean, I've been having to finish up these custom orders, which I still have a lot to do. I still have that guest book I have to do for a birthday party for someone who's turning 90. I still have to order stuff because now for this same craft fair I've been doing where they used to supply the tables, I have to supply my own table. Now in my mind, I know I'm borrowing that borrow in the eight foot table from my sister but in my mind I'm trying to think do I want my other table to be a four foot or a six foot I think it should be this I think I'm well I don't know Because I'm going to have a section where it's just bookmarks. Because you know I'm making these other bookmarks. Which I'm throwing them in here as I get them done. I think I'm only going to make uh, 10 of this kind. Because I don't know if people are going to go for them or not. But I made some more since my last video. So I have these. This right here. So pretty. And. Oh, let me show you these angels. See, this is an angel. Can you see? That angel. And I got another angel down here at the bottom. And then I have this one. And it, it's just plain with stones. It's lighter. The other one I had made, I had that heavy believe charm on it. I took it off because it was too heavy. So on hers, I switched it because I got these prayer hands in. Because this is for a prayer journal. So I got these gold prayer hands in. And I have, uh, it came in silver too. So that's much lighter. That was heavy. And I ordered those shepherd's hook. To make some too. So I'm going to have a section. With bookmarks. Comment below if you think people. Would want these hanging from their books. So there's three. So I only need to make seven more. Yeah. Some I won't have anything Christian on it because some people are just looking for plain bookmarks, you know, not plain, but they're not, you know, everyone's not saved. Everyone haven't given their life to Christ or if they have, you know, they have their own beliefs. So I can't, I don't, I'm not trying to force anyone to believe. But I want to get the gospel out by any means necessary. So if they read a certain word, you know, they might be going through and read. Like this says, I will answer you and your friends with you. That's good to know. That's good to know. Okay. So. Let me see what else. I thought this paper pad had... Oh, I should go backwards. Okay. I shouldn't keep flipping. I should just grab some. So, I'm going to grab this. Trying to fill in the bottom parts 
first. Hope you all have been doing well. Got Wesley settled in the things that are going around with going on with him. That's my youngest son. He's thir he'll be thirty three. He'll be thirty three. But um He's had a lot of questions about the diabetes. So I talked to the, so I went for my doctor's appointment and we have the same doctor. I I my appointment was only a follow up. A follow up. So of course he asked about Wesley. I am Wesley's um health power of attorney. So and I signed the paper, he signed the paper that his um, health needs I can um, they could tell me I'm on the HIPAA anywho should I do more of those yeah he um, he asked me how's Wesley doing I'm, gl it, I'm glad that he's uh, invested in Wesley. So we discussed his test because he has acid reflux. So he was telling me that because I thought that they said it was an ulcer, but he said that they didn't know if it was a lesion or an ulcer. So we need to try to convince him to be seen. So we're going to pray that He gets the EGD so we can find out what is what is that on his esophagus. So call out Wesley's name in prayer. I watched Testament. The story of Moses on Netflix, it was really good to me because it had a lot of commentaries. It had somebody from Full Gospel Baptist. It had a rabbi. It had a, a Muslim. And all of them, you know, their degrees or studies is religion. And it was good how they brought out things about Moses. It was very interesting. Yeah, how they, I got some things up here I'm going to use in the corner. How they brought out things about Moses. It's like, wow, I didn't even know that. I didn't realize that. You know, I think in some things I've heard in messages, but I didn't remember. Like Moses had a temper. Like, ang like ang anger management. So, like, when he, so what I would remember, they would say that because he threw the, um, when he went back up on Mount Sinai, he came back down with the, uh, the law. And he saw that they had built a cow, a calf, cow, a calf, it's a calf, <laughs> and they were worshiping it, and he threw the tablets down cuz he was angry and um yeah and um the other thing was i didn't really you know he so when he was raised as a egyptian and one of the this now I have to read about it myself, but this was in the uh, movie. One of the um, Egyptians was beating the slave 
and Moses jumped in and he murdered him. And I know he murdered someone, but I just really didn't know the whole story because I didn't study it. And then that's why he left because they were after him because he did that. And that's how he left to go meet, meet Jethro. But anywho, that was another sign of his anger. That he just killed that man. So that was like one of the first signs. And I remember him having some type of speech impediment. And so that's why Aaron also spoke for him. What else do I remember? I'm going to go back and read it. You know what I've been doing? Because I was teaching children's church. And I had to come back to like the basics is knowing the Bible stories. And like when I... When we um, when we do the Bible stories, we were doing it in depth. Like we would make draw a picture of the well and everything, and you know, we were learning step by step what really happened when Jonah was told to go to Nineveh. You know what all happened because he disobeyed God. So you can learn, uh, learn a lot going back to the, I covered all that up, going back to the Bible stories, you know. Back to Moses, though. I was just learning a lot, learning, learning a lot about things that maybe I heard and it, and it didn't, I didn't retain it. Or just new things that I didn't know. I got this old magazine. New things that I didn't know about. You know? Let's see one more. I like this. Might as well use it up. Because it's not all going to be in the same cut. And I had forgot that um, Moses, I want to say Moses's, Moses' um, mother, Egyptian mother, that found him in the river. When he left and took the people out the promised land, when God, when Pharaoh finally was like, okay, go, because the last plague took his son, his, his sister, Pharaoh's sister, Moses, so we'll say adopted mother, because they didn't know at the time that wasn't her son. She had just lost her child, but in the movie, it was like they didn't, everybody around like her dad or, or anything didn't know that she lost her child. So she found Moses and claimed him as her own. But she went. <coughs> <coughs> and the commentators that they have talking around it verify that, you know, they all said she went. So, you know, these are theologians. So they study, study. You know, we just... Read. We're supposed to study to show ourselves approved. Is that what the word is? That was interesting. I did not know if, I mean, you can mute me if you don't want to hear about this. I did not know that, here's a pretty one. I didn't know that, um, What was I going to say? You know, Moses didn't make it to the promised land. Okay. That's gonna... I'm going to go ahead and do that up there. Moses didn't make it to the promised land, but Aaron didn't either. Neither did his sister Miriam. So that was his real brother and sister. 
Miriam and Aaron. They didn't make it to the promised land either. Did you know that? Now, what I do need to, when they say promised land, I think they're talking about Canaan, correct? So one of the commentators, which was the full gospel Baptist preacher, said that Moses didn't make it. He he knew he wasn't going. I guess he knew he wasn't going to the promised land. But he would make sure that the people got there. So that's where. So he was saying that's where Martin Luther King Jr. got his. Uh, I didn't even connect the two. When he said, you know, I may not. I may not make it to the promised land. You know, the same. That's that. that he was um, thinking about Moses. It's also interesting. Also interesting. I'm going to do it on this other side, there and there, just to close these in. Let me just tear you off all at once. One. You can't see me tearing. I'm tearing off off the field. Two and three. And three, I say. Well, let's do not. And here we go. Oh, another thing I didn't know. You know, all the plagues. It said there was, what, 10, 10 plagues? I didn't know that, you know, I didn't know that there was a plague of lice. I didn't even remember that one. So what they had, the water turned to blood. I don't know the order. The water turned to blood. Lice, since that was on the tip of my tongue. Frogs. Boils. That's four. Locusts. That's five. Darkness. That's six. Um, flies. Seven. Three more. I know they. the last one was they killed the firstborn. Of any they killed the firstborn they's like well how could god be so um mean to do that they killed the firstborn of even the highest this is the highest uh status to the lowly status whether you were woman or male male or female um Oh, I gotta put something else there, but I don't want to put. I'll put something there. Um, shoot, what am I missing? I'm missing some. I'm missing two more that they showed. Oh, hell. That's another one. When they, you know, the hell. And gosh, I don't remember another one. I'm a thinking. Oh, the the um the cattle was sick. They all died. Yeah, they were just dying. So whatever I don't know what that would be called, but they all died. Was there ten or twelve? There was just ten. Cause I had a hard enough time thinking of the ten. I'm going to have to Google that. How many? Wait a minute. 
how many plagues did God bring to the Egyptians? Ten plagues. Ten. According to time, as the Passover story tells it, after Pharaoh refuses Moses' entreaties to let the enslaved Israelites go free, God sends a series of ten plagues to pressure the Egyptian ruler. Each time, Pharaoh promises to free the Israelites, but reverses his decision when the plague is lifted. Okay, there you go. Ten. The actors that they had playing, the actor they had playing Pharaoh was good. I thought it was good. It was good. So, if you think about it, watch it. Put that up there. It was good. The commentary was very good. If I'm using the right word, narrative, narrators. I think the I think the word commentary is right. All right, let's fill some in the middle. How long have I been? Oh, only 26 minutes. I have some things I pulled out that... Since I'm doing this so fast, it's like I'm not watching what I'm doing. So, um, and it, and it might be just on this cardboard. Some of these bump up in the middle, but that's okay. Cause cause after I cut it and everything, I'll probably put something on top. Still, I still will put something on top of it. I'm just trying to get some that I've already cut out. So today is Saturday. I'm doing this. It's Saturday and you will see this today on Saturday. I normally try to get my videos out at 9 a.m. Monday, Friday, Saturday. But I was working on something last night. I didn't know what I wanted to record. So I knew it wasn't going to be ready, but I didn't want to go and get out of the habit of recording, you know, putting out a video. So, what's it always going to be? I'm always going to be collaging. And you might, I could be collaging in your background and you could be crafting. I'm not going to always have something to talk about. 
you know. It is what it is. It is what it is. I'm just putting things anywhere, people. See, I'm not getting this flat like it should be. Oh, I need to lift this up, and I hate getting them. But I need to do my polish over anyway. There. Looks like I got a bump in it. put that right there it's gonna get cut up anyway it's like why did you choose that old thing because I need to cover this up and it's gonna be pretty once uh-uh I gotta lift you up I need one of those um, credit cards. But that worked out. See how that covered up all of it? It may look funky now. But um, it uh. Some of the paint still, not paint, ink, inkish, I should say. Some of the ink still comes off. Let me wipe this off. So it won't build up. Have build up of the. Okay, let me set that one. Just a few. Just a few to do. Let's get some of these. What else do I have over here? Just some. Just pulling some of these. already Too. What do I have?
making sure it's not sticking to the back. Mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. What can I put under there that's... More matte medium. This is from Liquitex. It's that other bottle I had found that I had got on clearance. A piece right there that needs to be filled too. Let's go ahead and put you there. You know what I should use and I'm going to? I have a lot of digital papers that I printed and I never like they're just stacked up somewhere I should you start using some of those too sure should I'm gonna go ahead and put this one right here like I was going to because this I don't think it's going to end up together you know when I cut the I need to put more stuff on here though. I don't know if I have another one of those botanicals. Let me look to see what's popping. I have I like that. It's not gonna cover all of it though. Just gonna go ahead and put you down because it's in my hand. And this I just picked up, so we shall use you. Okay, everything's covered. But let me see what else can I put on top of here. Let's see. I'm going to put this in here right now. I need to wipe my hands. I'll be right back. Hold on. Okay, I did some pulling of some things. Found more of these. So I have my... Uh... I pulled out the art glitter glue too because some other things are more... Are thick they're just not paper and I cleaned up a little bit Do the paper right quick. I like a clean cut sometimes and not just torn.
I have some of these. And, it, and it's going to get cut, right? Because I'm going to go through and cut. Only the one thing I hate about collaging, which I love collaging, is my fingers getting glue and stuff all on it. I don't like that part of it. You know, I don't, I don't, I don't like that part. You see over here what I'm looking at. Do you see what I see? I might not even get this part up here in it, but I'm going to go ahead and go this high. In what, Stephanie? In the cut. They may not make the cut, is what I'm trying to say. May not make the cut. I don't know what that's need the stronger glue or would this work? Let's see. So on these there's a matte side and there's a glossy side. I don't want the glossy side. But I guess I should use the glossy side sometimes because other people may not mind because it's not for me. It's not for me. It's another. That's the matte. This is the glossy. Of course, you know what I'm going to choose. I'm just going to put a few more things on this. And then I could do the other <coughs> after the cut. Probably won't be on this video. Probably won't be on no video. <laughs> Or it might be. I might can continue mine. Because I need to get these done. So what's the harm in doing it with you? You know? I need to put some more. I'm going to cut this into squares. Instead of tearing it. Squares are triangles.
Let's try some, uh, put some of these on. Save some for the other side too. You see what I'm doing? And then maybe one over here. Okay, and then maybe do I have some labels? I'm just going to leave that like that. Let me dry this right quick so I can just turn it over right quick and get a good look at it. Excuse the noise. I'm I'm almost finished. I'm um, because I want to go ahead and cut. See what makes the cut. I'll be right back when it dries. Okay, <clears throat> all right. I had already turned it over and looked and assessed the situation. I added a few things. <coughs> Excuse me. Well, what I want to do is, so I'm going to be cutting out this size. See how much is going to be left up here? Of which I could get some from here too. Same there. But I, need to, I just, I can't worry about what's on what. Just do it. Let's see. I'm going to, this is two by. Seven. Two by seven. Two, I think. By seven. I just need to do this because my measurements are crazy. I had to straighten up some too when I was off. Okay, two. I'll do it this way. Two. Yeah. Two by seven. Oh, let's see. Only thing is when you do this this long. I'm gonna miss this part. I think I'm gonna go down and mark. Mark first. And then maybe cut it off in the middle or something. Hopefully that'll work. Just to know where. So I should get.
there that's so i want to cut i'm gonna cut somewhere in here so i can get this that way you know can we get somewhere in here My marks to be covered by the stitches when I sew around it. Now let's get this even. Even Steven. All that down there. to the side see if I can get down there there because this is kind of thick now that I done both sides of it. It's kind of thick. Okay. So now, let's do seven this way. Let's do seven. There. Do that right? No. No, Steph. I cut off my lines, but that's okay. Gosh, girl. I did it the wrong way, but that's okay. Calm down. Calm down. Yeah, calm down, girl. How long do I have? Oh, my God, 54 minutes? All right. You see what I'm doing. I'm just going to finish this part here. We'll do the two. Two by two. And I'll come on in the next one and finish this up. This is very thick because of all the, you know, glue and stuff. I should have put on fresh blade. But there's one. How many will I get? Two, I like that one. I'll probably put some rubble ones, add some rubble ones. There's three. I can't wait to do the, there, I have two ideas. Four. Wait, that's one, two, three. This is going to be four. Two. 
is four. Okay, five, then it'll be six, seven, eight. I'll have eight, and then I'll have nine, ten. I got ten out of this. All right, I'm over my time. Thank you for watching. Have a good day. Uh, Resurrection Sunday. A good weekend if your family is getting together. Uh, have a great day today and a better tomorrow. And pray for me and I will pray for you.